What's good, Josh Bull Ross? Back at it again with another video. So, just finished the SmackDown live stream reaction, man. Shout out to everyone that was a part of the show. You guys are amazing, as always. We got to talk about a few things that happened on SmackDown. First and foremost, man, we got to talk about uh, Asuka's new championship uh, belt. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with WWE and their belt designs as of late outside of the new World Heavyweight Championship that they designed. Um, I want to say that was like maybe a month ago or, or whatnot. Um, outside of that one, having a new look, you know, new or modernized feel and look to it, which, you know, definitely looks great in my opinion. The new belts that they've been dropping, the new belt for Roman and then now the new belt for Asuka, just... It's just, it reeks of laziness. Are they ugly? No, by any means they're not. But literally all they did was added gold to it. That's literally all they did for Asuka. They just added gold to the back plate. And then that's it. Strap is still the same. Gold with black diamonds on the WWE logo. Like, that, that's it. Like, not creative. It just, it just looks like something that you can easily create in wwe or whatnot it is it, it just reeks of just laziness it's a billion dollar company i expect them to at least want to have your champions have the best prestigious looking belts as possible but it's, that's you know it's neither here nor there so i just had to make that mention that belt literally looks not that much different they might as well have just kept Oscar with the raw women's championship but obviously i'm sure they're trying to they they're, they're trying to switch it up in a way where it's kind of a, a weird roundabout way to you know now not have to call it the raw uh women's championship or whatever i don't know it's just it's just lazy that's that's my personal opinion y'all let me know how y'all feel about the new design it's not really much of a new design it's the same belt just put gold on the back <laughs> So that's my opinion on that. And obviously, uh, um, Charlotte comes back and, you know, it's Charlotte Flair. You know what I'm saying? Last time we saw her, she lost at WrestleMania in a fantastic match with Rhea Ripley. Fantastic match. So Charlotte Flair being Charlotte Flair, she can come back and demand a title shot opportunity because she's Charlotte Flair. That's exactly what happened. No, no contenders match, nothing. Just I'm Charlotte Flair. I'm back. I want a title shot. Let's go, Oscar. Oscar says yes. And then um, before this segment, Adam Pierce had already agreed that Bianca would have her rematch. So I don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to probably have a triple threat match at some point? Who knows? But honestly, bro, it was just one of those things where I was like, damn, that's crazy, bro. That's the power of uh, being a flair. You can just go back there and just, you know, hey, I haven't been up here in a couple months, been chilling, but I'm back. I want a title opportunity. All right, we'll set the match when, when you want it. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I do think all these three women can have a, a, a pretty good match. I don't know if they're going to do a triple threat match. We'll see. But it'll be interesting to see how things play out. Um, but yeah, so that's that's one thing I had to talk about before we really talk about what y'all want to, you know, the meat and potatoes of tonight's show. All right, so they start off the show. Paul Heyman, solo in the ring. Roman's not there tonight. As I figured, he, he will be there next week. Start off the show. Before Paul could even say ain't really anything, the Usos music hit. And it's Jay. Jay comes out there. No Jimmy. Just Jay comes out there. Or whatnot. And he pretty much, you know, saying his piece. Because he's disappointed in Solo. You did that to your own brother, your family. I'm very disappointed in you. Or whatnot. And that's all he really had to say, Solo. Not saying much of anything. Paul's like, all right, look, man, you can't really trust Jimmy. Paul is gaslighting. He's manipulating. This is Jay's entire story within the bloodline. Jay, as soon as he's about to really, like, leave or have second thoughts, all they do, all Roman has ever done and Paul has ever done is gaslight him and manipulate the situation to make him believe something that's not really happening, to make it seem as if, it's, you know, it's either his fault that things are happening or he can do better. Like, try to, you know, once again, gaslight or manipulate the situation. So, pretty much, Paul was like, this is all, it's not Solo's fault. 
it's not Roman's fault. It's not even your fault. It's Jimmy's fault. Jimmy's the reason all of this is happening. We're not talking about Roman manipulating things. It's Jimmy's fault. He's the reason why this is happening right now. And to be honest with you, he starts saying, Jimmy's jealous of you because Roman is Roman is grooming you to be the next tribal chief. Just reeling him in. He, yeah, he's trying to groom you to be the next tribal chief. That's what he wants for you. And we even set up something for you tonight. You know, we, we're going to have you have a match with Austin Theory. Because the Usos is no more. Y'all not going for tag team anymore. The Usos is done. But you, main event J, you can be a solo act. And you can bring home the United States Championship to the bloodline. Just manipulating him, making him think like this is all really to, to elevate Jay. Jay's thinking about it. And all Paul needs is for him to, you know, acknowledge the tribal chief and, you know, just shake his hand on it, on the agreement. He's like, all right, all that other stuff sound good, but uh, I'll get back with you on uh, agreeing to this later on tonight. So he hops out the ring. I'm like, all right, cool. Jay's, you know, Jay's playing the field. He's being smart about it. They go into the locker room. And Paul, once again, Paul is coming off like they... That used car salesman is trying to get you in this car that has over 150,000 miles on it. <laughs> He's trying to get you in this car that has that much mileage on it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's been in a couple accidents. You know what I'm saying? It's been, you know, in unsavory situations. But they cleaned it up and they made it look nice. That's Paul Heyman right now. He's being the used car salesman to try to sell Jay on just aligning himself with the bloodline and forgetting about his own brother. So at this point, he's trying to throw in the perks. He's like, "Yeah, man, we can get we we can get you, you know, what I'm saying, get the passport, all this other stuff. We can we can get you on Roman's private jet. You get to fly Roman's private jet, all this other stuff, all these great perks, you know, what I'm saying. And then next week, we're gonna be, you know, celebrating uh, Roman Reigns coming back to SmackDown. We're gonna be celebrating you as a new United States champion, and we're gonna be celebrating the fact that Roman's gonna be grooming you next to be." the head of the table the tribal chief once he steps down and all he wanted was a handshake to agree and jay was like man that sounds all good yeah that's that, that sounds real good but i don't know why you smiling because you know if i'm in then you gonna be out <laughs> you know what i'm saying like pretty much i don't know why you smiling if, if i'm in if i'm gonna be in the bloodline you're gonna be out you know what i'm saying like like I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. What you what you happy about? I like that. Like you know, if I'm in power, you done, you out of there. You know what I'm saying? So we get to the match. Pretty good match between Austin Theory and uh, Jay Uso. Cool to see him in the main event in a solo capacity a little bit. And the crowd was pro Jay all night. Crowd was definitely pro Jay. Even with him making his decisions on shaking Paul Heyman's hand, crowd's like, no, 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 don't do it. So we get towards the end of the match. And uh, I like to call them pretty zesty. Because <laughs> that's what they pretty much are. They're definitely zesty characters on WWE television. But they have lined themselves with Austin Theory. I forgot about that. Like, I'm going to say last week, week before last. So they came out there to help Austin Theory after the referee bump or whatnot. Because uh, pretty much Jay had the match won. Jay had the match won, but the referee was knocked out. They come out there to attack him while the referee's down pretty zesty. <laughs> and then Jimmy comes out to help and even up the odds. But then Solo comes out and attacks uh, uh, Jimmy Uso. And he's about to hit Jimmy with the Samoan spike. But Jay stops him like, no, what are you doing? Then Solo pushes Jimmy out the way. Um, he like, pushes Jay out the way in retaliation. And then... um. Uh, Jimmy's about to hit Solo with the super kick. Solo ducks it. And then Jay ends up hitting, getting hit with the super kick from his own brother, Jimmy. It was an accident. Then they uh then uh Jimmy ends up trying to throw Solo over the top rope, but it didn't happen. So he got caught up on the middle ropes and he had to kick him out the ring. Then Jimmy dived to the outside on top of Solo or whatnot. But ultimately that distraction was able to cost Jay Uso 
in winning the United States Championship as Austin Theory pinned him for the one, two, three victory. So, Jay, unfortunately, is not the United States, the new United States champion. So, after the match, Jimmy's like, you know, trying to console him, my bad. And then he ended up pushing Jimmy away. And then he ended up walking up the ramp. And you see Paul Heyman and Solo just looking. And he's just kind of like over. He just waves off Jimmy. He just walks up the ramp. And then you can see Paul Heyman pretty much on his phone. Well, pretending to be on his phone because his phone didn't light up. It was like, hey, Siri, call Roman Reigns. So it looks like Paul is kind of like, once again, still trying to pull the strings. Like, okay, this is good. This is the outcome. Even though Jimmy, Jay didn't win, it's the outcome he wants because he wants Jimmy to be by himself and seem like he has no help and he's alone, like pretty much outside, outside, you know, outside of the bloodline. And it looks like Jay or they're implying the story that maybe Jay will side with Roman here. So we'll see how this plays out these next couple of weeks. I know next week Roman's going to be there and he's going to want Jay Uso's answer. So it's going to be interesting to see how they play this out and stretch this out all the way to Money in the Bank because I still believe the Money in the Bank main event match will be Roman and Solo versus Jimmy and Jay Uso in a tag team match. So we'll see how it plays out or maybe it'll be something else. Who knows? I'm very interested to see how this play out. So comment down below. Let me know. How did you guys feel about the new women's WWE championship that uh, Oscar was uh, awarded? And uh, how did you feel about the design? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, also, let me know. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about this Jimmy and Jay storyline right now. Where, where you think things are going to go? Are you enjoying it? Because I know I am. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel. Road to 150K. I'm still going to be the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.